everybody. Welcome to the Quick and Carry Kitchen. I'm Kristen Madrine, and I want to welcome you to apple season here in the kitchen. I am taking the core out of an organic Honeycrisp apple, and this one is giving me a fit because I'm trying to get it all out but not all the way down you don't want to take out the whole thing so we'll talk a little bit about that in a second hello how are you all today welcome to our first show in september can you believe it that it's already september here in michigan the kids just went back to school nights are getting a lot colder and people are starting to think about fall recipes. And I have a great one for you today. I want you to do two things for me. Share this show with someone that you know who is new to the Instant Pot or afraid of their Instant Pot or maybe hasn't taken their Instant Pot out of the box yet. This is the recipe that will make any of you look like a gourmet cook even somebody who's never used the Instant Pot before, this is delicious and super simple. And then I'd like for you to comment down below, and this is for all of you who are watching us live, hi lives, and for anyone who is watching us later, uh, hello all of you who join us later, thanks for coming to the Quick and Carry Kitchen. What is your favorite kind of apple? Leave it in the comments down below, and two of you are going to win one of our sets of Quick and Carry utensils. These are awesome, and they are designed for the use in the Instant Pot. So let's get right down to it and um, leave your comments about your favorite kind of apple. Hi, Leslie, how are you? Nice of you to join us today. Hi, Jennifer Kershoff, I'm glad that you're here. My sister, Sarah Scheiber, is joining us. Hi, and she said hi to other Kristen and Noel. Not only do I have Kristen, my producer, but we have an, an associate producer who's learning how to be a producer, and that's Noel. So she's in the kitchen with us today, and we all loved these. I made some this morning, and we all had one for a little coffee break snack, and these are fantastic, and they are so simple to make. So, oh, hi, Cindy Redden. How are you? Um, glad that you are joining us today. So what you want to do is first let's talk about the streusel. Um, I have here made a little streusel topping. I took some walnuts and I smashed them up and put them in here and I put in so it was about probably a half a cup or a little bit more of smashed walnuts and then a half a cup of raisins um, two tablespoons full of brown sugar and a tablespoon of really really good cinnamon and I do think good cinnamon is worth spending the money on and you just mix it all together and you could do your streusel your own way. There is no set way to do this. You, If you don't like walnuts, you could use pecans, you could use hazelnuts. If you don't wanna use brown sugar, you could use coconut sugar or you could even chop up some dates. You could use maple syrup, but it would be a little runnier, but I still think it would be super delicious to do that. Hi, Gina. I love Granny Smith too, Gina. They're great. So you're just going to mix your streusel topping all together like that. Get it nice and mixed up. And then you're going to prepare your apples. And I'm using a Honeycrisp. And I chose them because they will hold up well under pressure. But you could also use something that you love. Cortland's would be good for this. Empire's would be good for this. Macs are not going to be good for this because they get too squishy. And you want an apple that's going to hold its shape. These um, looked beautiful when they came out of the Instant Pot. I hope you can see the one in front of me. Um, it's been sitting here for a little while and it's still holding its beautiful shape. And you can see the streusel is kind of cooked. And then we drizzled it. And I'll talk about that in a minute too. So you're going to want to mostly core 
your apples and you can use a melon baller if you have one I'm just using a small kitchen knife and I'm going down in there and I'm just getting out everything uh, but not going all the way to the bottom of the apple um, you really want to be careful of that I mean you could go all the way to the bottom but then your filling is going to fall out so you want to leave the bottom of the apple down there and then you're just going to take your filling and fill the little cavity and I sort of fill them to overflowing because you know I'm a generous person so there you have it and I'm just gonna that one is a little tippy and the way I do it I just want to show you what I do I make a slice of Oh, most of the way down and then I make three more to make kind of a square around the core and then I do feel that that helps to lift the core out and I kind of just go around again and you can hear it coming there we are the core came out and now I'm gonna go get the rest of the little stuff in the middle there get all the seeds out you don't want your guests to get a seed um, and here we go and I'm just putting it in a little bowl and there we go and again a nice round not to the bottom but a cavity so that you can put your stuff in your streusel in the middle all right then here's the coolest part you put these right in the liner of the instant pot so take your liner and set the apples right in it. And depending on the size of your apple, I'm putting in five, but you could probably do six. Five around and then one in the middle. So you could get six, maybe even seven if your apples are small. But you just set it right in the liner. Put your liner back in your pot. You're going to put one quarter cup of water in uh, around the apples and then you can also just add all of the streusel topping that you have left over, sprinkle it all over everything and that'll be a nice little sauce that you'll have on the other end. Hi Dawn, how are you? Glad to see you joining us from the Big D. Kristen Stuckey is here this morning. Hi Kristen, that makes three Kristens in the kitchen right now. That's very cool. I always like that when you come to the kitchen, Kristen, because I think about, oh, there's a lot of us Kristens all here today. So, a quarter cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot, sprinkle the rest of the stuff over it, and then here's the best part. This is a three minute cook. So you're gonna have about a 10 minute up to pressure, a three minute manual or pressure cook on high. And then here's some interesting information for you. If you've used a Honeycrisp apple like I have, you can let them have about a 10 minute pressure release and then they are perfect. They hold together. There's just a little bite still left to them. They're not complete mush. So I let it, cook for three minutes and then had about a 10 minute natural pressure release. If you're using a softer apple, if that's what you've got, you might want to let the steam out after two or three minutes so that you can not have fall apart apples. If you want them to appear pretty on the plate and hold their shape, you do have to be conscious of how long you use a natural pressure relief. Um, yes, Diane Yoakum, how are you today, Diane? So glad you joined us. Couldn't you use apple juice? Yes, that is a great idea. You could put, instead of apples in the bottom, I mean water in the bottom, you could use apple juice or apple cider. And then when you sprinkle all the goodies from the leftover streusel in it, that would make an even better drizzle to put on top of your, um, your apples when they're done. So once your apples are in there, you just want to lock on and seal your lid. Don't forget to make sure that your sealing ring is correct. Always a good thing before you put your lid on. Three minutes, natural pressure release. Let the steam off if you have soft apples and then serve them on a plate or in a bowl. And yesterday when we were prepping for the show, Kristen said to me, oh, let's have some sort of a caramel 
drizzle on top of them. That would be delicious. Perfect. She was completely right. And we have a local company um, that makes this uh, beer barrel bourbon caramel sauce that is to die for. You want to just lick it off with this, with just eat it with a spoon. But over just a little drizzled on there was perfect. You could add a little whipped cream. You could add a little ice cream, however you want to, you know, snazz this up a little, but it takes the humble apple to a gourmet level, and yet it's mm -hmm. one of the simplest recipes I've ever seen for the Instant Pot. Um, Kathy Leathers, hello! How are you today, Virginia? So glad you joined us. Hi, Robin, how are you? I'm so glad you're in here with us today. Ann Jones, yes, she wants the recipe. Hi, Paulette. Listen, ladies, this is the thing to make with apples. I am just amazed. And like I said before, please share this recipe with people who are a little afraid of their Instant Pot. This is a super lovely way to get used to cooking in the Instant Pot. And like with everything, I know I say this all the time, but it's really true. With most of the things that you make in an Instant Pot, you can't ruin it. And these are the same thing. So what if they crumble and are a little mushy when you take them out? Fine, they're still gonna be delicious. You know, if you're wanting to have them for a guest or a treat for the kids after school or something, yes, it's nice if the apples hold their shape, but um, you can't mess this up. And that's the way I feel about almost everything with the Instant Pot. It's a wonderful, forgiving, and easy way to cook your food. And this is a lovely little recipe, and you still, if it's warm where you live, you don't have to uh, heat up your kitchen to make something baked. Hi, Lena Wallace. Oh, you love your cooking utensils? I'm so glad you said that. Yes, these are awesome utensils. They're a little longer so that they fit and work in both the six and eight and the three quart instant pots and we made them out of a very sturdy silicone um, when we first started to develop this box of good stuff we really really did our homework and we wanted to make something that would last and could withstand the high temperatures that you get when you are cooking sauteing or stirring stuff that's been in the instant pot so lena thank you that's very good all right so let's review you want a sturdy apple, wash them well, cut out the core, but don't go all the way to the bottom. You want the bottom of the apple to hold your streusel. Your streusel might be different than my streusel. Mine is walnuts that I have smashed and raisins, brown sugar, and really good cinnamon. You can add more, add less, whatever you and your family enjoy. Fill the center of the apple with your streusel. Be a little generous, let it come up over the top. You put them right in the liner of your Instant Pot. Only one dirty pan today. And uh, cook them with a little bit of water or apple juice or apple cider. You only need about a quarter cup. And um, if you look back over what other apple stuff I've cooked while I've been doing this show, we did applesauce. And I think applesauce in the Instant Pot is worth having the Instant Pot for. I love applesauce made in my IP. And again, you only need about a quarter cup of water. And that's because apples are so much water themselves that when you cook them down, you don't need anything added to them. So I was delighted to see that this too is one of those recipes where you don't need a whole cup in the bottom. Just a quarter cup will do it. Three minutes on high pressure or manual cook. Let them have a natural pressure release of about 10 minutes and then they are perfectly perfectly made we did a caramel sauce drizzle with this really really wonderful bourbon caramel but use what you have i promise you this will be one of your favorite recipes and a go-to this fall for a quick dessert or a nice snack these are elegant but they are super simple so remember if you're watching comment down below Tell us what your favorite kind of apple is, and two of you are going to win a Quick and Carry set uh, for watching uh, today or later when some of the rest of you join us. 
Happy fall. I can't believe that summer is nearly over here in northern Michigan. We've had a gorgeous summer here. I'm a summer person, so I'm not looking forward to finding my socks or drinking my pumpkin spice stuff. But I will have to say, this apple recipe does get you in the mood for fall. This is a wonderful, simple recipe. And it's as elegant as you want it to be. So... Just like the patron saint of the Quick and Carry Kitchen used to say, Julia Child's Bon Appetit.